the Cody and Punk promo was absolutely lit, and Sunday could not come soon enough. Uh, <laughs> God dang it. Oh, yeah, that, that promo was fire. Absolutely, bro. When Punk dropped, I'm more, I'm more of the American dream than you, and then Cody rebutted with, I'm more CM Punk than you. Oh. <laughs> just give us, just give us Punk versus Cody at Mania already. Just give us that shit. <laughs> Man, I'd be fine with that. I'd be fine with that. <laughs> absolutely. But... Like, Jesus Christ, they're cooking this hard for the Royal Rumble. And that's just on the Raw side. For SmackDown, the Fatal 4 is still heating up. We still got yeah. one more SmackDown before the Rumble. <laughs> yeah, uh, me and Morphe are here. We're going to be giving our predictions for the Royal Rumble this Saturday slash Sunday. But yeah, uh, mm -hmm. let's 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 start off with the Men's Royal Rumble then. Um, I, th I've, I think I've already made it known that my prediction for the Men's Royal Rumble is goddamn Gunther. Like, it it doesn't Ooh, make that's... sense. It doesn't make sense storyline wise, because like you know, Cody is basically fucked if he doesn't get Roman. Although recently in like the previous episode, he has been teasing with a program with Seth, which is fine. But I don't like the fact that Roman and Gunther are implicitly dodging each other. Like if you actually nah. pay attention to the storylines, it seems like those two are dodging each other. Like I would have been fine if it was Roman since uh, since like fuck Roman. The guy the guy <laughs> can't get a clean win for to save his life. But Gunther himself has not made any mention of Roman and now he's just challenging for Seth. I'm like something feels wrong with it. Like why are they dodging each other? That's a I'm money surprised. match in the making, man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Gunther is my pick. It's not going to happen this year. Probably will happen next year. But man, if, if Hunter pulls the plug on the ring general this year, I'd be fucking happy. I want to yeah. see Gunther brutalize the shit out of Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but be... it's most obviously going to be Punk. Like, it, it, the stars have aligned. And they kind of did the same thing with Cody, where it, he was the most obvious choice to win. I mean... Why not? I mean, just because it's the most obvious thing to do doesn't automatically make it the worst thing to happen. Like, you know, it makes sense. Just make it happen. We're, we're, we will love it anyways. Yeah, that's my pick. It's the obvious one, Punk. But if 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 they went with the unpredictable route, like if they went the surprise route, I think I could see Gunther like, winning. Yeah. Like, and it's not like there's, there's zero precedent. Like, storyline aside... Gunther is like the most legit force that WWE has been building for ever since he debuted since 2019. Like Gunther has only has the name shades. The man is still the same character. Yeah. <laughs> well, aside well, not just the name, he's he, Gunther slimmed down a lot. <laughs> like compare oh, yeah. Walter from he debut to Gunther now, and the guy is hungry for that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, he's been working hard. He deserves a main title. That's my ring general, baby. The tribal queef can never. <laughs> <laughs> the tribal queef. God. I, 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 I picked it up from r slash Arkham. I don't know why, oh but it's, it, it's, it, it's so right. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the men's Royal Rumble. Let's, let's, uh, speaking of tribal queef, um, the fatal four way. Um, I don't think there's going to be much surprise if, if Roman wins. Mm, yeah, the tribal queef is winning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna feud with I mean, Brock the Stone. I would love any of the other guys winning, but yeah, the Tribal Queef is taking that one. <laughs> Not gonna lie, if they want to pull a swerve, have AJ win. Oh, I'd love that. Oh, my. absolutely. Like this, I'm not sure if this is a hot take, but AJ hasn't felt hot in a long time. Like outside of him and Seth battling for the World Heavyweight Championship, I don't think AJ has had like a noteworthy storyline for a long yeah. time now. And this would be the perfect time to like you know make AJ relevant again in a big way. Like have him steal the show and make him like you know be like the last stop to basically like you know for either Cody or maybe CM Punk to like you know be the guy or further swerve it have AJ beat everyone and prove that he's the phenomenal one <laughs> yeah all right now let's get to the women's royal rumble match and Oh my god, I really don't know what's uh, what's gonna happen here. Like, yeah, I don't know. Right? There's no clear cut winner. Like, Akari says that Becky could could be a two time champ, but even then, yeah. it's not set in stone, man. Who do you think would win? This is the most out of uh, out of left field predictions thus far, but I I I, I kind of want Sasha Banks to win. Ooh, 
Like, Ooh. she's still a free agent. And, mm -hmm. you know, she's, like, testing the water. She can go AEW. She can go TNA. She can go back to New Japan. Or she can go back to WWE. There, is, there isn't anything set in stone with uh, Sasha, with, you know, or Mercedes and Monet at the moment. So if they do, like, you know, decide to pull the trigger on her and finally have her be the star under Triple H's, like, you know, control, I feel like she could win, like, genuinely. Yeah, if she comes back. Oh, I forgot. The one thing we haven't done yet, surprise entrance. Like, I mentioned Sasha Banks, but... Both rumbles have a have a lot of potential to have, like surprise entrance. Let's 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 sneak this in at the end. Like we should have done this earlier. Or let's since we're already talking about the women's. Aside from Sasha, who else do you think could like you know pop pop back in? Hmm. Maybe AJ Lee. Maybe? Everybody wants AJ Lee yeah. back in. <laughs> Husband and wife in the Royal Rumble. Ah, that's the sweetest Imagine thing. <laughs> um, Jade Cargill also has a chance to finally oh, make yeah. her debut. Forgot like, she's been in the company it. for, like, months. And, like, they advertised her heavily during the first few weeks. But not, not, nothing. So, like, if they're gonna, like, you know, give her, us a reminder that, you know, she's in the company. Royal Rumble is probably the best spot for it. Like, she could look really good. A face-off with Bianca would, would be amazing. I think oh. Andrade could also come back. Oh, he's most definitely coming back. Yeah. <laughs> like Andrade and, and Naomi, the uh, who just like said goodbye to TNA recently. They're they're like the two most obvious like you know uh, talents that are most yeah. definitely going back to WWE. Like it's basically an open secret. As for the men's, oh, there's there there are quite there are two names that I want to see in the Rumble. It's it's probably unlikely, but if it, but the the stars have aligned somewhat for it to happen, and I want to see MJF and Kazuchika Okada in the Rumble. Oh my God, that would that would blow my mind. I'd I mean, out. <laughs> I mentioned open secrets. There's no, there's no secret that's more open than mjf having re-signed with aew like yeah everybody knows it but if they really want to like screw with like you know the the casual and the hardcore audience have mjf make a surprise appearance at the rumble it can be at any position have him have a stare down with punk and let them like you know run it back so that you know we can get like a true tease for like you know what can happen to the wrestling industry in the coming years because like this is just awesome man okada though oh my god if that yeah happens. this one is also uh, like way more unlikely because he doesn't become a free agent until yeah. january 31st but like that's i don't think i don't think that uh dude is gonna have that much of an issue with like okada showing up like he's he's already on the way out like come on okada in wwe oh jesus unlikely but the fact that it's possible has ev has all of us salivating, man. Yeah, I'm salivating at the idea. My God, <laughs> bro, WWE is cooking. Uh, My God, I I have not been excited for the WWE since NXT in 2020, and you know, unlike 2020, there's not gonna be a pandemic that's gonna slow this baby down. We're going full <laughs> force. I'm Ever so since excited. Triple H took over, I've been excited. Oh yeah, thank God, Papa H. I just pray that Dwayne doesn't do anything because <laughs> as as we're recording this, we it literally has just been reported that The Rock has a prominent position in TKO. Like, oh my, oh my god. god, that that shit scares me, man. I I hope that he, that The Rock doesn't pull a Hulk Hogan and say, "That's not good for me, brother." <laughs> it doesn't matter if you finish your story. <laughs> oh no. Poor <laughs> Don't mention that as well. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think that's all for this video. It's pretty great. Thank you so much, yeah. Marky, for joining, man. But thank uh, you, Sunday thank can't you. come soon enough. Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch with you guys. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, stay tuned for Sunday where me and Morphe are going to be joined by Akari, Meowdy, and Mion. We're going to be doing a live reaction to the Royal Rumble. And yeah, I'll be seeing you, delicious. Goodbye. Bye bye.